Hey there, I've done two um, seven chords in the key of blank uh, so far, the key of C and the key of G. Um, the key of C has no sharps, no flats. The key of G has one sharp. And today we're going to do the key of D, which has two sharps. And as we go further into this, into this series, we're going to go to the key of A and the key of E. We're, I'm basically going to do the five keys. Um, we will have more bar chords as we have more sharps. It's just the, the way the guitar is laid out. It's just the, the, uh, the, the sad truth of it all. So I'm going to show you basically six triads in the key of D, okay, based on the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth degree, and then one passing chord, so a total of seven chords. But any of the bar chords, I'm going to show you a, a cheater of some kind, or maybe a couple different cheats for that chord, okay? So the first chord in the key of D, of course, is D, D major. So the one chord in the key of D, the one chord in any major key is going to be major. So here we have D, nothing on the bottom two strings, and you start on the D string, and it's open, and then second fret, third fret, and second fret. And over here, I'll put the diagrams, okay? The two chord in the key of D is E minor. So if we go up the D scale, D to E, that's the chord built on the on the E, and the two chord in every major key is going to be a minor chord. And we can play it with our first two fingers, or if you want, you can play it with your second two fingers, your second and third finger. So it'd be open, second fret, second fret, open, open, open. Okay. And then now the third chord, D, E, F sharp, is an F is an is a bar chord, and it's F sharp minor. And you need to get these down. You need to learn how to play bar chords. I've got a couple videos about playing bar chords. Um, and so you don't ever want to like just go, I have a cheat so I don't have to play it. No, ultimately your goal is to play it. The cheat is kind of in the short term. Uh, so you can kind of have something you can play there. So F sharp minors, we're at the second fret, then fourth fret, fourth fret, second fret, second fret, second fret. It's a bar chord. Okay, you can just start by barring your first finger and see if you can get every note to ring out without laying your second finger on there. Now, the minor chord is nice because we can lay our second finger if we want to. It just means we have to stretch out a little further with our third and fourth finger here, the, here and there. So it'd be first finger and then third and fourth finger and then first finger. Okay. So the cheat I kind of came up with for this one is like this or this way. I think this way is easier. Um, and I call it F sharp minor 711. And like I've said before, don't let a don't let a name scare you just because it's a complex name doesn't mean it's a complex chord. Um, F sharp minor sounds like an innocuous chord but it's actually quite difficult. F sharp minor 711 is a little bit easier. So basically what we have is second fret, nothing, you can play the open A string but I, I wouldn't, I would go ahead and deaden that. And then second fret, second fret, open, open. It's a very pretty chord, I really like this chord a lot. Instead of so there's some similarities there we've got the root and then we have the seventh we have a, a third and we have a what's a fourth that's where we get the 11 7 11 and then the seventh so we have two sevenths two e's which are the sevenths and then that okay now the next chord the four chord in the key of d d e f sharp g is a major chord the four chord in any major key is going to be major and g we know we did it in the key of g the previous one but just in case um, third fret Second fret, open, open, third fret, third fret. Okay? The next chord is A, and that's a new one um, in this series. And A is very simple, nothing on the bottom. And I play A with these three fingers because I feel like these three fingers are just a little too fat to kind of get in there comfortably. So if I swap out the first finger for the pinky, it's kind of a, a real estate gain. I get a little bit more real estate there. Okay? So we have... Um, Oh, so nothing on the bottom string, then open, second fret, second fret, second fret, open. And there's A. And I'm using my second finger, third finger, and fourth finger. Okay, the sixth chord, one, two, three, four, five, six, is built on the B note, and it's B minor. So the sixth chord in any key, any major key, is going to be minor chord. Okay, we did, we did B minor before, and I'll give you both the, the chord and the cheats. So nothing on the bottom. Two, four, four, three, two. We have root, fifth, root, third, and fifth. And then the cheat I did for that, I've got a couple here, but here's one we can do is two, zero, two, three, zero. And that 
that's a B minor 7 11. Or I can even take off the third finger and I can just put these two fingers there. Again, nothing on the bottom string, starting on the fifth string. Um, so if you just take E minor and move the first finger down and then play from the fifth string, you get a you get a B minor 7 11 chord. So it's it's not a bad substitution for a B minor, but it's pretty ringing. It has a couple notes in it you might not want. So here's D to B minor, for example. B minor seven. It sounds like a B minor, but it's, totally, it's a little bit more open sounding. It's not as pure as this B minor. Okay, and then the seventh and last chord is our transi transition chord from the B minor back to the D chord. So what we're going to do is we're going to play an A chord, which we just did, but we're going to put a C sharp, the third, in the bass. So this one's a little tough. It's going to take some practice. I mean, it's not necessary that you need to know this, okay? But it's a good one to have in your in your back pocket. So uh, it's basically nothing on the bottom string, fourth fret on the fifth string, second fret on the fourth string, second fret on the third string, open, open. Like that. And this is technically A2 over, over C sharp. So we have the third on the bottom, then the fifth and the root. Here's the second right there on the second string, and then another fifth. So all of them together. That's what they would sound like. You can go descending too. Or you might go E minor to two. I mean, sorry, E minor. To the one chord, I'm just, the five chord, sorry, A, to the one chord. Now, the reason you would want to know these is so you can play songs in the key of D, but so you can, it helps you figure out songs in the key of D. So if there's a song you're trying to figure out that's in the key of D, chances are it's probably, if it's a, if it's a pop tune, if it's a rock tune, it, you know, if, if it's a basic folk tune or something like that, it's probably only using these six chords. The one, two, three, four, five, and six. And it may only be using the one, four, five, and six. Those are the four most common of the six chords. Um, and then the two chord would be the next most common. Probably the least common is the three chord. In the, in the case of D, it would be the F sharp minor. But basically, when you have all those, then you can start to listen to songs. And what you'll do is you'll notice, oh, wait, that's a G chord. Okay, so they're playing a four there. Oh, that's B minor. You'll start to recognize the chords as you get more and more familiar with that key. Okay? I hope this helps. God bless you. I'll talk to you soon. I'm going to do A and E next. Stay tuned.